Hey, Psych2Goers, how do you see yourself? Are you confident in who you are or do you struggle a lot with it? Seeing value and worth in yourself despite what others think and what you go through is important to your overall well-being. It can affect how you think, feel, and act towards yourself and also impact how you let others treat you. While many may think that low self-esteem looks like someone who is sitting alone by themselves, not wanting to do anything all the time, it can actually manifest in a number of different ways, some which may surprise you. So to look more into this topic, here are seven habits of people with low self-esteem. Number one, procrastination. Are you always delaying or avoiding things you have to do? Whether it's a project for work or replying to emails and messages, this habit to procrastinate on things may stem from having a low self-esteem. According to several studies that looked into self-esteem and procrastination, it's found that those with low self-esteem tend to procrastinate and delay their tasks more since it can justify poor performance and negative outcomes. To protect your self-esteem from the possibility of failure, you may purposefully sabotage yourself early on. By doing so, if you do get a bad grade or make a mistake, you can blame it on the circumstances and the limited time you had instead of your ability. Number two, passivity. Do you actively take steps to reach your dreams or do you just let things happen to you? Another habit you may develop from having low self-esteem is passivity. This can mean being disinterested and disengaged from everyday activities or letting opportunities pass by without a moment's thought. When you have low self-esteem, you may believe that you're not capable of achieving your goals or dreams. As a result, you may lack the motivation and drive to try or to take the steps to get closer to achieving what you want. If you find that the things you want feel too overwhelming and almost impossible to reach, try to break them up into smaller steps. If you wanna be a published author but are struggling to write, you can try taking up a class or talking to people about their experience in the field. Little by little, you may start to find yourself becoming more active in chasing what you want. Number three, negative self-talk. Are you very harsh on yourself? The way you speak to yourself can affect your attitude and behavior. And so if you tend to be very negative about yourself, then it's likely that your self-esteem will suffer. Perhaps you're overly critical of yourself. You blame yourself for things that are out of your control or are always focused on the negative side of things instead of looking at the bigger picture. In the end, when all you're surrounding yourself with is criticism and negativity all the time, your mental and emotional health will take a dive. So if you notice that you tend to be very negative, you can try to be more aware of the things you're telling yourself and question whether they are true. Are these thoughts helping you or just unnecessarily pulling you down? Number four, isolation. Have you been ignoring your friends' calls and invitations lately? It's normal to wanna have some alone time from time to time, but it may become a cause for concern when you start to isolate yourself for a long time from everyone around you. Related to the last point, having low self-esteem can lead to negative thoughts and beliefs, such as thinking that you're unworthy of friendship or love, or believing that you're a burden to be around. As a result, you may start to isolate yourself from your loved ones. Unfortunately, by doing this, you may only end up ruminating even more, often to the point that it no longer matches up with what's true and real. For this reason, it's important to go out and meet up with people and stop these negative thoughts from taking over. Number five, people pleasing. Do you agree to plans despite being busy and unavailable just because you don't want to upset anyone? When your self-esteem is low, you may turn to pleasing others to feel validated and accepted. While it's certainly good to wanna to help and care for others, it can become an issue if you're only doing it to gain approval or if you end up sacrificing all your energy or your mental well-being for it. People-pleasing may also lead to exhaustion and burnout since you're taking on much more than you can carry. So before you take on any more plans for other people, remember to also think about your own needs and wants and set some healthy boundaries for yourself. Number six, perfectionism. Are you always overworking yourself until the project or task is done to the utmost of perfection? When you feel like you're not worthy or good enough, you might try to perfect the things around you to create the illusion of success and achievement. With low self-esteem, you may worry about others thinking that you're incompetent and overcompensate by trying to do everything perfectly. However, since it's impossible to do so, you might just find yourself even more stressed and overwhelmed, sometimes to the point of burnout. So while it's hard to admit, try to remind yourself that it's human to make mistakes. And number seven, being unable to accept compliments. Does it feel awkward when someone praises you for a job well done? According to a study that looked at the relationship between self-esteem and positive feedback, it's found that those with low self-esteem tend to have a harder time accepting compliments. 
This is because your self-perceived sense of worthlessness contradicts the positive feedback you receive. As a result, you may find yourself unable to accept praise or think that what is being said is untrue or because of a misunderstanding. Do you struggle with seeing your worth? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description box below. There's been a huge decline in mental health around the world, and that's why we're so committed to creating more content than we ever have. Thanks so much for being a part of this journey.